Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll learn how can we use the version control function that is available in our PyCharm. Okay, so basically, a lot of Python developers are there and they want to to work in a version control platform. So mostly we use VS Code for that, and uh, sometimes we just code it and then just by using our terminal we push the whole code to the GitLab or GitHub. But uh, here we'll know how can we set the version control function in our PyCharm and how can we directly from the PyCharm itself we can push and pull our code. Okay. So first of all, uh, to use this functionality, we should be having some account on GitHub or GitLab. So here I am in GitLab and after having an so if you have an account in GitLab or GitHub, you should be creating a new project. Okay. So I'll be creating a blank project and I'll be providing the name of the project as YouTube. Okay. After giving the name, I'll create this project. So this project will have nothing. So and the first and the first time when you'll be creating a project, you need to give some file. Okay, so right now I'm going to just give a file and I'll just say that this file is test.py. So I'm giving a Python file. Let's create this file and let's write something. It is not required that it is syntactically correct or it should be a logical program. Okay, so here nothing is going to get compiled. So make the commit so that it can be saved in your repository in your project folder and now you can see that I have this file here now let's connect this whole project with the PyCharm so I have my PyCharm opened here and here you can see that uh, a different uh, project is opened here so the op open project is named as testing so I'll be going to this VCS okay menu and here just click on enable version control okay and then just click ok after that you can see that there are this blue green right symbol and green arrow symbol is there then just click on get and just click on clone after that you need to provide the link url that is there in your clone in your folder gitlab folder you can see that there is a clone button when you'll click this clone button you'll see there are two urls given there we are interested in cloning our project via https so i'll be copying this https url just place this https url here okay now you can see that the directory is already created so youtube so what it is saying that whenever you will be cloning this this uh, project from the gitlab it will be stored in youtube directly youtube directory that will be created in our desktop okay you can change the uh, directory folder from by clicking there then just click at clone and after clicking at the clone button, it will ask for the username and password. So remember, this is your account and the username will be there. Okay, so what is written here at the rate Y2K Devendra 1. So this is your username Y2K Devendra 1 will be your username. And the password will be the same that you used to log in to this profile, GitLab profile. Okay, so here the username is already there. If the username is not there then just type the username if you'll click click here at remember it will save the credential locally and you will not be required to enter the credentials again and again okay but i'm not going to just save this these credentials because my work directory or work account is different than this one okay so here i'm going to type my password Okay, after typing the password, just click at login button. 
and you can see that it is asking whether to create the project and open it on the same window or you want to open it in a new window so i'll say that i want to open it in a new window now you can see that whatever file that was present here that we created is there in our youtube folder okay so this is the text test file and look these are the things that we wrote here in our gitlab interface okay so now let's see if we can push any changes that we can make here okay so let's just write a hello world program here so just print okay and i'm going to run it okay so it is asking for the configuration i think so we need to set the configuration So here you can see the output is there. Now let's see if we can push the whole code in a single click, okay? So here you can see three symbols are there. One is blue arrow and one is commit that is a green tick symbol and another is push. So first of all in order to push your code, first of all you need to click at commit. Okay, so whenever you'll be uh, committing something, you need to provide a message for the commit. That will be visible in your GitLab interface, GitLab project directory. Okay, so let's say this is a test program. Okay, so I am writing this message and I'll do nothing. These are the changes that you can see earlier the file was like this and now the file is like this okay and I'll be committing it. So now it is committed and it is ready to get pushed. Now I can push it. So whenever I'll be pushing all the commits will be there along with the comment okay and what is the branch that I'm pushing to it is master branch. Remember that we do not have any branch. Here you can check all the branches, so only single branch is there. If you want to push the code in a different branch, you can just change it from there itself. Okay, so let's, let's just push it. And since we have not clicked at the remember, it will again ask for the password. Uh, and now you can see that there is a notification that post one commit to origin master and so this is it i i think you you learned something from here and now you can you can just edit anything you can add many files you can write the whole project here and just you need to just commit it and then push it okay and here you can see that that the changes are made i need to refresh this page okay you, you can see now the changes has been made okay it is saying print hello world whatever we have written and you can see the commit if you look at the commit here is the commit you can see that the event has committed okay and here in the file you can see the last comment commit and the message that was sent along with the commit okay so this was it i think you 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 learned something out of this video if nothing just something and i made this video very simple so that it's easy for you to get started with the git 
or else there are a lot of functions you can just uh, clone or push on different branches that we can cover if you love this and you want me to make other videos related to git just let me know down in the comments okay thank you for watching subscribe to this channel so that i can feel some support from your side also guys okay okay bye